As many of you know, I have been playing around with MetaTrader for quite a while now, trading Forex as well as cryptocurrency on different brokers, and today I will tell you my experience in making a custom MetaTrader 4 Expert Advisor and explain the process in as much detail as possible. Now, before I get into the video, make sure to like and subscribe if you would like to see more MetaTrader 4 content and coverage on the automated trading market. I also want to mention that I have made a video on how to trade on MetaTrader with cryptocurrency. So if you currently only trade cryptocurrency, you can still easily trade on MetaTrader. So I recommend you check out that video if you haven't already. But anyways, let's get right into this video and talk about how to make a custom MetaTrader for Expert Advisor. So I will talk about strategy in this video and what you should propose to your developer when making a strategy on MetaTrader 4. However, one thing that a lot of people are going to immediately ask me is where should I go in order to find a developer for MetaTrader? Who should I use and what should I give to them? So I will explain all of that in this video, but the first thing is finding someone to make your expert advisor for you. So. What I did is I went on Fiverr and I will have a link in the description down below to the person I specifically used and I found one of the highest reviewed people on Fiverr in order to code my strategy. Now, the reason that I would go for someone with high reviews is because whenever you're giving them your strategy or bread and butter, something that's really, really valuable, you don't really want to risk that with someone that's maybe newer on Fiverr. You sort of want to go for someone with a lot of experience. So I decided to go for this person, MQL4 expert, and I had a great experience with him. He made my strategy flawlessly and I did go through some revisions. However, he was very fast in updating it as I found issues and I found him to be very, very effective in coding my strategy. So the general cost for this for me was $255 for the premium development. So depending on how complicated your strategy is, he will quote you different amounts. So all you need to do is just contact him and then he will give you a quote based on what your strategy requires. Now, when proposing your strategy to your developer, for example, MQL4 Expert, or one other person I found that seemed pretty good was MQL4 Solutions. So when proposing your strategy to these developers, one thing they will ask you for is the download links to the indicators that you are using. So I have a website for that as well, and this is a free website that I have found many people have used in the past, and I find it to be very, very effective when looking for a lot of indicators. So all you need to do is search for an indicator. So for example, MACD, and you can search on the website and you can find multiple different types of the MACD indicator. And then once you have your strategy and the different indicators that it uses, you will be able to download the indicators from here and then give them to your developers so they can code it into an expert advisor. So now I want to talk about how you should base your strategy and the different parts of your strategy that you will have to tell your developer. So there are three basic parts to the strategy. One is the entry, so how your strategy enters, how your strategy either longs or shorts the market and what different conditions it uses to do so. Second is your money management strategy. So what's going to happen if the position moves in the wrong direction? What happens if it moves down? How are you going to handle losses? What are you going to do in those different situations? And then the final step is the exit indicator. So how are you going to exit and how are you going to close the position with as much profit as possible, depending on what strategy you're trying to make? So personally, in my strategy, what I decided to do is I decided to focus a lot more on volume indicators. So I would find points where there are high volume in the market. So great example of this would be right here or right here. Basically very important points in the market when there's a spike in volume. And then what my strategy does is it uses a certain money management strategy in a way where no matter what direction the market moves, I will still be able to profit as long as it is a fast move. So that is what my strategy is generally based on. However, 
all you need to do is go on one of these platforms. You can go on TradingView, you can search for indicators, you can go on bestmetatraderindicators.com, you can look for different indicators on here. Then what I would recommend you do is you go on your preferred trading platform, for example, TradingView or MetaTrader, and then I would manually trade your strategy to make sure it is profitable and make sure that it is viable to automate because if your strategy has a lot of different components that are very variable, for example, if you say I only set my stop loss at this magical level that I change all the time, then that's not going to be able to be automated. So you need to find something that can easily be automated. So for example, you would multiply the average move in a day by two to find the point where you set your stop loss and you have your target by using trailing stop loss, something like that. You want to have something that is very, very specific and can be easily automated. So then you can tell your developer exactly what indicators you're using, exactly the strategy you're using, the money management that you want in your strategy and the exit indicators. So everything can be ready the second you tell your developer what you want. Now, after you have your indicator and after you have everything made, the next step you want to do is go to MetaTrader and then backtest your strategy. So this is something I just wanted to quickly show in order to teach you guys how to properly backtest your settings. So MetaTrader has this really, really cool feature where you can basically automatically find the most profitable settings possible. And what this is, is this is an example right here with just a basic moving average expert advisor. And all you need to do here is you have this little window that you can get from clicking expert properties and then inputs. And then here you will have your different values for your indicator. So if you are using an expert advisor with say the moving average and RSI, then you will have all the values for your different indicators. And then what you can do is you can change the start value, the step and the stop. So what this means is for example, if I have a start value of five, a step of one and a stop at 17, what it does is automatically once you click the optimization on and you start the back test, it automatically starts at five and then it back tests with each setting. So five, six, seven on the moving period. So on whatever setting you are back testing and changing, it will progressively move up the setting in order to test all of the possibilities for that setting. And then it will give you the most profitable setting. So it will go through the value for moving period and it will start at five and then it'll move six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and say 12 is the most profitable setting. Then it will then tell you that setting and then you can copy it into the moving periods. And then you know for a fact that that is the most profitable setting in the period that you are back testing. So that is something that I just quickly wanted to mention because a lot of times after you get your expert advisor made, it will not immediately be profitable unless you do some back testing and adjust the settings to make it as close as possible to when you are manually trading it and using it on your own. Now, just to talk about my personal experience really quickly on how I have liked this and if I have found it to be profitable or not, this was the first MetaTrader 4 Expert Advisor I have ever had made, and I found the experience to be very, very nice. I think MetaTrader does a great job of creating automated strategies, and they tend to be much, much more reliable than other platforms such as TradingView, and especially for Forex with brokers and other things like that, it is a great experience and especially when you can have a developer that gives you a lot of support and allows you to make small adjustments to your strategy that you might find to be bugs or little adjustments that you want to make in order to make it more profitable. I think it's a great experience and it can certainly be a great alternative to buying a strategy as you know exactly what you're getting and you can even test the strategy before even purchasing it as you already know what the strategy conditions are and you can manually trade it in order to prove that it is profitable. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know if you guys have any questions down in the comment section down below and see you guys in the next one.